Welcome back. In this section, we just learn only lambda functions. But before we uh, start lambda function, we also, yeah, I mean, do some revision of a function again. Lambda uh, function dot py. So I will just do everything over here. How, how do we write a function? Do we write a function? I think by now everybody is familiar uh, with, uh, I mean, functions. So you need the def word and then name of a function, right? This is a placeholder. You can call it any name and you need a parenthesis. This parenthesis may have a, a, a parameter, parameter one, param one, param two, or it may not. First, let's try without a parameter, okay? Uh, then I can say print I am a function, a function, and let's run this file. And if you run it, you don't see anything, nothing, because why? You tell me, guys. Not to call the function. Yes, it has to be called. Function should be called to, to use it. As you can see, yeah, now I'm a function. Let's call this one instead of name of a function. Greet people, greet uh, people. Okay, and then uh, I may pass name of the person we want to greet. Then in the state of I'm a function, I can say this hi, and then I can say the name over here. Then if I change this to also greet people, and let's greet a Sabine and it should say, hi, Sabine. Okay, let's uh, greet Tommy. Just change this to Tommy and it should say, hi, Tommy. And you can make use of this 100 times or 1,000 times, it doesn't really matter. So see or sushi, so see, uh, so see. And again, Johan. Great. How about if these names were actually in a list that we use, we can use it differently. Okay. For name in list, for instance, Sadena, and then again, Tommy, and again, um, Susil. And again, Johan, actually we can greet these people and then greet people. And then while we are uh, iterating through the loop and we pass the name and let's see, have you seen? Yep. Let's just comment this out for the time being and let me show you. Greet people is not defined, what? Uh, yeah, so sometimes, as you can see, we manage to loop through and also greet every of them. Great, but um, why we, well, how is a Lambda function looks like if you are familiar with other programming language, uh, especially JavaScript, a Lambda is similar to anonymous function, a function without name. So let me show you how it looks like. Okay, let's comment this out for the time being. And now you need the word Lambda. And then you can say X, X. What do you think the purpose of this function, guys? You tell me. Actually, this function and this function is the same. Def make square X return. Oh, are you familiar with this function? 
or is this function easy to understand for you? Yeah. Yeah. Clear. Yes. So this and this are the same. Uh, but this one doesn't have a name. So we have to store it. I have to say uh, uh, maybe I can I can call this X, Y, Z for the time being. So if I print X, Y, Z, actually X, Y, Z is a kind of a function now. Yeah, as you can see, it's a function. So if I just pass two, it should actually give me four. Because, yeah, if I just pass like 10, it, it should give me 100. Have you seen? So now this is actually a function, but it doesn't have name. Since it doesn't have name, I gave it a name here. So make square is much better name, right? So I can change this to also. Uh, make square. Okay, that's, but sometimes, for instance, how about, how do we pass different arguments? X, Y, Z, yeah, X square plus two times Y plus Z. Now I want you the value of if I pass this. What what are you expecting? What's the value of this? Forty. Yes, forty. Because as you can see. Two square, four, three times two, six, six and four, pain. And then this will be just summed up, uh, 14. How about this? 10, uh, and then again, 10, and then again, 10. You tell me this. Something hundred uh, one thirty. Yes, one hundred thirty. But the name doesn't make sense anymore, right? This function is doing quite a lot of things, right? Some kind of just linear equation or quadratic equation or quadratic equation or something, right? So this is lambda function. So lambda function is a function. You need to have the word lambda and the different uh, parameters, and you just return the value like this. Yeah, great. We have finished lambda function. OK, so maybe when do we use this? Uh, sometimes when, when we don't want to use the function over and over again, we need a lambda function, especially with higher order functions. Yeah? Uh, maybe I can show you some use cases. Uh, for instance, uh, but I think if I use, um, it, it, it doesn't make sense. But I will show you how we can use lambda functions when we learn higher order functions together. So now let's just uh, stop the lambda functions over here. Okay, great.